Hey, and welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays. This morning I sent an email out and it said something like, I'm a cowboy and I have a super mama. And I, I loved the concept of the cowboy and the super mama because after working with thousands of entrepreneurs, and again, if you're an investor, you're, you've got to think yourself as uh, you're in the, the, the business of investing. So entrepreneurs and investors have to work in a particular way if they really want to capitalize on time and money. And this concept that I'm going to be sharing today, the cowboy and the super mama, kind of encapsulates what is required for a business to grow and to grow fast. And in reality, who doesn't want a fast growing business? Now, I am a cowboy. So when we talk about the cowboy, I'm a cowboy. It's a bit of a joke, but you know, understand what I mean once I sort of dig into this a little bit. Uh, my gifts or my strengths as a, a business owner falls into certain categories. And the first one is I'm strong with ideas and strong with strategy. So when we start to look as entrepreneurs and business owners and investors, it's the quality of our ideas that make money. And it's the quality of our strategies that make money. And that's the domain of logic the analytical part of the brain, it's the domain of intuition. Uh, but you can only rely on intuition when you have trained to drop your ego quickly, and most people haven't. So they're locked into logic, um, analyzing, and being creative. So we know that certain people get ideas really, really quickly. So in our profiling system, if you, haven't, if you haven't done it, make sure you go and do the DNA indicator because it will help you understand what your profile is. So my profile is a profile that automatically gets ideas really quickly. I grab concepts very quickly. Uh, and I have trailblazer and motivator as aspect of my uh, personality. And so... Trailblazers and motivators are very fast thinkers conceptually and they get, they can sort of see something and they can see the opportunity and they can see the problem really quickly where for the most part evaluators and stabilizers, and if you don't know what I mean, go and do the DNA indicator. That's it. Um, our profiling system. But evaluators and stabilizers don't tend to get ideas as quickly. And they have to think things through rather than having that real gut bang. Oh, that would be a great idea. And as someone that gets lots of ideas and has uh, some idea of, of, of developing strategies, my next gift is operating really quickly. Now, this is really important. If you don't operate really quickly and take action quickly, you won't grow your business fast. Now, let's just be clear about this because it's most important that your ideas and your strategies are sensible. And in coming up with ideas and strategies, you also have to continue to look at the risk of those ideas and strategies. You have to weigh them up against other ideas and strategies. You have to look at the impact that those ideas and strategies will have on um, your organization from an operational perspective, an administrative perspective. But for this particular Wisdom Wednesday, I'm imagining that you already have a highly evolved entrepreneurial or business mind that does that when you come up with your strategies and ideas. And so one of my next strengths is action. It's like, let's get this, if, if it, everything stacks up from an idea as a strategic perspective, let's just get to action and let's work really quickly in getting these things uh, happening. So I would be considered an activator. I'm not waiting around. I, I, I can't stand waiting around. It's really interesting because any high growth uh, business is run by someone like me with that particular form of profile. 
where idea strategy, straight to action, um, and real activators. And, and we're going to go somewhere with this because you've got to have a team in place. And if you don't have a team in place, you, you can't be an entrepreneur. You're just going to be roadblock left, right, and center. So another couple of my gifts are communication, teaching. So I'm best... I'm at my best and I'm best use and service to people when I'm able to teach, share. And of course, I have uh, amazing people reading skills. So when I work with clients, I see all their unconscious patterns in two seconds flat. And of course, if you don't get that already, that's about as much of an advantage as you can get. If you're working with me at a higher level, if you're working within our programs, you're uh, not only uh, surfacing and transforming unconscious beliefs and behaviours that undermine your ability to be a great wealth creator, but you're also getting really good quality, uh, best-in-class strategies for developing that wealth as a business owner, as an entrepreneur or as an investor. Um, so when I do those things, I personally feel fulfilled, uh, and uh, that's in my uh, gift and strength profile. So in some ways... That's why I call myself a cowboy, because you come up with the ideas, bang, 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 uh, and then take action and activate. And so a fast growth business needs someone like me. But if it was only me, everything would be a disaster, a complete disaster. Because you can be uh, really uh, good at coming up with good quality strategies and ideas, and you could be really uh, fast and actioning and activating and you may be really good at communicating and teaching but ideas and strategy which are really important are only as good as how they get implemented so I don't uh, put into place my ideas and strategies for the most part because the moment that I have to put in place those ideas and strategies, well, there's a couple of things happen. I'm not going to implement particularly well. Meaning I will make mistakes because I will rush. Implementing does not fall into my gift profile. It doesn't fall into my strengths. And if I try and implement perfectly, it undermines my ability to be doing these things. It undermines it. So this is why I call myself a cowboy in some way, but I have people that implement. <laughs> this is weird, by the way, I, that I'm now in this Facebook Live. This is mirrored. Um, so <laughs> if I'm, I'm, it's easy for me to move the wrong way because this is actually on the wrong side. Um, what you're seeing is not where it is. Um, but So when it comes to implementation, you can't have cowboys. You can't have people that are really good strategic with lots of ideas and, and like to move quickly and take action. Okay, so think of this person as the idea, as the activator, but also the... Um, the conductor, like of an orchestra. The, con the, the conductor doesn't have to be really good at playing the fiddle or the, or the bass or, or the violin, but everyone in the orchestra has to be really detailed, uh, really know their instruments really, really well. Um, so when it comes to implementation, you can't have cowboys. You've got to have very... Uh, detailed orientated people who are very organized, who are very careful with high levels of expertise. So, again, if I'm doing that and that, that takes so much time to do properly. And if I'm doing it, then that kills my ability to be those things, and I'll move out of flow. I will move out of my, my giftedness. So I can only be a cowboy 
if I've got a super mama. Now, I, I love the idea of a super mama because my wife's an incredible mum, just, just amazing, and so organised, so efficient, such attention to detail. And that's just how she's around the home. And I suppose mothers have to be because they're uh, oftentimes babies' health and, and, and life depends on their ability to be highly organised. And the mother pays the price if they're not. You know, she can't go out and the baby's food the pants and she hasn't brought some uh, nappies with her. So being a cowboy as a business owner, it's probably not the best word, but you get where I'm going, is really good if you surround yourself with people that have the opposite aspects. And then they take the time in implementing, putting the detail and getting things organized and implementing effectively and leaving you to this. Now, this is really interesting because as I said before, every high growth company has this as their team profile. There is a leader who's only working with the vision of the business, strategies, ideas, communicating the vision. Now, it's probably important to say that you know, obviously, this actually does fall into my, my gift and strength profile. If you're an evaluator, then these things aren't necessarily going to fall into your strengths profile. Or if you're a stabilizer, they're not necessarily going to fall into your strengths profile. However, the same thing uh, applies. If you're an evaluator, or, or, or start with the evaluator, if you're an evaluator, you will have a really good ability to come up with ideas and strategy. And you'll arrive at them a, a, a fairly different way to the way that I would arrive at them. Because for me, they just often sort of come up, as I said before, I'm very conceptual. Uh, I'm intuitive. I'm, I'm tapped into it. And I've got good logic. So the strategy, it sort of just appears it almost fully formed. And then I go and inspect it. Well, what are the weaknesses here? What are the strengths of that? Where if you are uh, an evaluator, you will have to think through your ideas, work out the pros and cons, use logic mind and work through deduction. So you'll have that gift. And you may have the gift of project management as well. So again, even though you're a very different profile to me, it would still be important if you want to grow your business fast and also remove roadblocks, to be working with ideas and strategy, you're still putting a team around you that must have uh, implementation characteristics, which means they're high attention to detail, they're very structured, organized, careful, and organized. And they'll sort of match you in a way as uh, an evaluator business owner. But what you'll be doing is you'll still be doing the same thing. You'll be working in the gift of ideas, strategy. You might have another couple of things that you would do that would fit in with your highest dollar productive zone. But you would be constantly ensuring that you free yourself up from these things so you can actually work on, run your business, uh, be aware of what's happening and make new decisions fast, right? Solve problems fast, bring it back to the team for them to solve those problems. Now, for me, when I'm having to do these things, it's uh, frustrating to me. It, I, I will, will, if I have to do too much of that, I'll get frustrated because I know, I just know it's taking me out of my highest dollar productive zone. It's taking me out of where I should um, be. If you were an evaluator, as an example, the truth is you're highly um, you know, your, your asset base means you can do these things really, really well. But if you're doing those things, you're not working on ideas and strategy and driving fast action because you're now bogged down in this stuff. So for an evaluator or, or a stabilizer, because a stabilizer will be fairly decent at these things as well, not as good as the evaluator. And always remember that we've got more than one profile in us. Um, and again... If you don't understand these profiles, go to businessdnaindicator.com or just go to my website at perrymardon.com and you'll see uh, access to our, our, um, our profiling system. You can find out what profile you are, what your strengths and weaknesses are. But again, as an evaluator, 
you know, you're going to be good at this stuff, but you're going to be dedicated to making sure that you put team in place. Now, again, to do that, to be honest, it's, it can be expensive. So if you've got team around you, and, and people balk at that, and they're trying to do everything themselves, and to be honest, it's the worst thing you can possibly do. Because, yes, it's expensive, but when you try and do things yourself, and you're doing this and you're doing that, you're, you're just a roadblock in your own business. Where if you're working in this way, regardless of your profile, with your idea, strategy, action, activate, um, and, and giving it to your team, what happens is things happen faster, they happen in a superior manner, and that means income tends to come in quicker. And yeah, you usually have a shortfall by the time you spend and then when it gets returned. So just start to think about those things because no entrepreneur has built a, a, a proper business off the back of thinking, oh, I can do it all myself or I have to do it all myself because I don't have the money. Um, yep, sure, things can be tight sometimes. Some of you listening to this, things will be tight, but you, you want to bring on team as quick as possible to free yourself up from um, any tasks that take you out of this. I mean, I, I, people come to me and they've been in business 20 years and they're still doing their own books. Oh, that's just ludicrous. Absolutely. And they think they're saving themselves money. Well, they're not. <laughs> if, you, if you're working, uh, you know, doing the books, and uh, to save yourself 60 bucks an hour, then you've got to question yourself because uh, ideas and strategies make way more than 60 bucks an hour. So every hour wasted trying to save 60 bucks is in reality probably costing you thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. And if you take into account about if, if you're building your business to sell, um, it's costing you even more than that. It's just insane. You, you've got to work on your business. Anyway, I hope you get a lot from that. If you have any questions, any comments, please put them below. Uh, let me know anything that you would like me to teach in our weekly uh, sessions. Catch up.